Hey, this is Brother Jeff. I'm going to show you how to import an Edge anime game into Lectora. So first of all, you want to grab one of the Edge anime games by going to Activities and coming down to Edge Animate Games. And you'll see all of the different Edge anime games available to you. So if you select one of these Edge Animate games, you'll have two different download options. First of all, you can see the preview and make sure this is the game that you want. And then you can come to either Project Files or Edge Animate CC Template File. Now the CC template file will allow you to create numerous different projects just by clicking on the create a new project and then selecting from the template. In this case I'm just worried about one project so I'm going to go ahead and just download the project files and this will download the folder to my desktop and now from here I can double click on that and see all of the files that I need in order to edit this inside of Edge Animate. Now you do need to, if you're going to be working with Edge Animate files, you do need Edge Animate which is available through Creative Cloud uh, through Adobe. But once you have that, all you have to do is double click on the what ends with .an and this will open up your project inside of Edge Animate and so let's go ahead and open this up here. So here's my project open up inside of Edge Anime. Now you'll notice in Edge Anime down on the timeline is where the different parts of this game is at. So we have instructions, question one, and if I move my cursor, just click anywhere in that timeline, it'll move my red scrubber here and I can see what's visible in that timeline at that given time. So if I'm on question one and I come over to the content on the left hand side, I do have to unlock where it says question one and question one content. Now if I don't want to unlock those, I could come into the library and then just come into the movie clip labeled question one and question one choices over on the right hand side here. But in this case I was already on the timeline so I'm just going to go ahead and unlock question one and unlock question one content. That means I can come in here, double click into this movie clip, and then I can double click on any of these text fields and just edit the text how I want. Um, and once I'm done with that, I can come back up to the timeline here and come back to the stage um, and exit out of that and it will save whatever I've edited there. And I can do the same thing with the questions, uh, the possible answers and everything like that. Now we do have more in-depth tutorials at support.elearningbrothers.com that will show you how to edit, how to change the what answer is correct and everything there. For, for now, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at that and hit save. And now I'm going to publish my project out um, because it's not completely ready yet until I actually publish inside of Edge Anime. So I do have to publish in Edge Anime and then bring it inside of Lectora. Now I first of all click on File and come to Publish Settings and make sure that my web is selected so it will publish out the web files that I need. Now from here, if uh, that's selected, I just come back up to File and then hit Publish and this will publish out the HTML files. You'll see it go black for a second and that means it's done. And if I hide that, come into the Publish folder of my uh, project files and so you'll notice a, a folder called Web. Now this is what I need to bring in and uh, I need to find this HTML file inside of Lectora. But um, just similar to ebooks, you actually need to uh, rename index.html to something different because Lectora uses its own index and so you can't have it named the same thing. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just name this World Race. And it really doesn't matter, you just got to keep the .html at the end of it. And now I can come into Lectora and to come to the Insert tab, go up to Web Window, select the drop down box in the uh, window source to local web based content and now I can click on this browse button come down to the uh, to my desktop and I'm now going to find that project file which here it is it's in my publish folder web and there's my world race .html. I just select that make sure include all files and subfolders is selected I'll see a little bit of a preview here and then I can click OK and now if I've already imported this, which I did just to test, it may ask me to replace some stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and hit replace. And now I can resize this to whatever I want. The default size inside of Edge Anime is 720 by 540. So if you want it to be the exact size, you can just um, come up to the position and size with this selected and change this, uh, the width to be 720. And make sure that we have a zero at the end of that and then the height at 540. Now if you 
what Lectora does by default with these iframes is it brings in or adds a border. If you don't want that border to be visible, just come into the property section, click on the edit button, and now within this HTML, all you have to do is add another attribute called frame border equals, and then within quotes, zero. And now I can go ahead and click OK and uh, sit save. Now if I tried to preview this, um, don't worry if you don't see it, it actually is not visible during uh, production. If you want to see it, you actually have to publish it out. So let's go ahead and try that. I'm going to hit publish um, and then hit HTML. It's going to publish out my HTML project. Um, and now I can come into my, my Lectora folder here, go into HTML and then come into index.html and this will preview my Lectora course with my game inside of it. So you can see my game is here. I don't have any uh, player around this. If I wanted to add a player, I can. Um, but now I can come in and select my content and play the game right inside of Lectora. So that's how you download and edit the Edge Animate games and then bring them inside of Lectora.